Apparently BPF is releasing a video about Brittany Venti talking shit about his dead kid. Content actually? Uh, kind of. Kind of. Maybe. I doubt this BPF video is going to be much, I'm going to be honest. The only reason that I'm making this response is because one of these creators, Brittany Venti, has decided in her infinite wisdom that she wanted to go after my children and went after them in about the most horrible ways possible, making absolutely insane allegations. <clears throat> I don't care about the... Right, it, it, <laughs> Venti trying to blame Rachel for their kid's death was is kind of fucked. Let's be real. That's a little bit fucked. <laughs> rest of the controversy, it doesn't matter to me. I don't give a shit what people say about me on the internet. Or whatever insane timelines they come up with, or insane allegations. Uh, BPF's stepchild, Rachel's child, uh, died in a car accident when he was 10. Or whatever, I don't fucking care about any of that. It doesn't mean anything to me. But I do care when insane people target my children. My kids have never been on my stream. I've never shown them to the public. I don't show any pictures of them. I don't uh, involve them in any way. I don't disagree with fire with fire, but I don't think that's a low that I've ever seen BPF go to. Shape or form in anything that I do. The type of lunatic who would try to come after me by going after my children, that's a super dangerous person and a lunatic, literally a lunatic. So <clears throat> I'm just going to quickly address a couple of things. Uh, just in regards to them. Uh, again, I don't care if these people go ham about me and Rachel all day. It doesn't mean anything to me. But let's start with um, my wife not only attempted to sell my daughter's virginity to Groypers, that she succeeded. And she my, my daughter was deflowered by, by the Groypers or some shit. Okay. Joyriding. Okay, so here's my understanding. Is obviously they live on like, you know, this farmhouse, whatever the fuck. There's like a barn, basically, that had a car in it. And the keys to the car were in a drawer. And the 10 and the 14 year old were playing, like in a field or whatever the fuck. And the 14 year old stole the car and I believe hit the, the 10 year old with the car. I believe. Okay. And further, that's what it looked like that from the new story on t shirt. On yours truly your very fine host and that this blackmail is revenge pornography which one of them has and is waiting to drop at any time the daughter's ex-fiance is part of this group that nick fuentes runs and after assumingly taking her virginity which sloppy loved to brag about before he proceeded to blackmail her and her family with what is implied to be her nudes and Sorry, sorry. People saying the 10 year old was in the car and they crashed together. Okay, well, either way. Either way. And sex life. Let's go over what their evidence is. Their evidence is that Rachel made a bunch of tweets joking around uh, with some guys from the AF community on Twitter publicly. She pimped out her virginal daughter that she bragged about having a zero body count to a bunch of creepy men on the internet, on Twitter of all places. Now, my daughter did date a man um, who she was interested in, and she was introduced via my wife. I see absolutely no problem with that at all. I don't see how anybody else could. That's completely up to my daughter who she wants to date or not date. They uh, saw each other for... Okay, I understand. <laughs> I'm totally with Andrew on the dead kid thing, 100%. BPF has my full support on the dead kid thing. This one, I'm not so sure about. I feel like if you're like a conservative Christian, you know, traditional family, and you it's and you introduce your daughter to a guy, it's sort of your job to vet the guy, right? I think I think that's fair. For time, socially, they had contact with each other socially. And um, 
the relationship ended up ending, my daughter ended it. They have not shown a single shred of proof, Brittany Venti or Tree of Logic or any of these lunatics, that there was any kind of physical relationship between these two individuals at all. None. And yet they string together this insane allegation, right, which led to people harassing my daughter on her Instagram page. It, what's interesting about this is that I think the reason that they went with this particular narrative is because neither of these women... Yeah, he was a griper. As far as I know, he was a griper. ...women could ever in a million years envision dating a guy without sleeping with him. <laughs> I just think that they couldn't envision doing that. She can date whoever she wants. Nobody forced her to date anybody. That's ridiculous. And it's okay for uh, people to meet each other online. That's how most people meet who date in a social setting. But they have no, they have shown no proof at all to this allegation that her. Vir I don't think it has to be weird for her mom. No, I don't think it's weird for her mom to introduce him. I think it's just weird because of the circumstances of how she found the guy and what happened as a result. I think those are the weird parts. I don't, I don't think it's necessarily weird for her, her mom to introduce him at all. I think that's pretty that's somewhat common, especially like conservative places, right? Yeah, I'm saying groper. Yeah, obviously, because he's a groper, it's weird. It is, yeah, and it's always weird to advertise her body count, obviously, yes. But I don't think it is inherently weird for a mother to introduce someone. Virginity was offered up online and then she was deflowered by somebody. Prove it, motherfucker. Prove it. So Sloppy pimped out her virginal daughter to a bunch of creepy men on Twitter. And it resulted in her getting engaged to a Nick Fuentes fan that later on blackmailed her and her family with what is implied to be her nudes and sex life considering that she was a virgin. He didn't say anything about porn. They just assumed it. They literally just assumed that for no reason at all. And by the way, what a horrible and sick thing to assume. They just instantly assume she must have slept with him and he must have, have revenge porn. Bug, when uh when this mic shows up, we gotta uh I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to help me sell up the fucking filters and shit properly, cause holy shit. If I have this thing like Andrew's got, where he's like fucking breathing, or I can hear every slight breath, every time his fucking mouth moves, I can hear the wind passing between his lips. This is like awful. This is terrible. This is terrible. <laughs> this is horrific. No, I got an uh, MV7. MV7. The same one as Andrew, I think, right? It's a sure MV7, right? No proof at all. I never said anything of the sort. They just made the whole fucking thing up off the top of their head. No evidence whatsoever. Again, none. I haven't shown a single shred because there isn't any. It's all bullshit. What happened when he called me, right, and he was threatening me is that I could tell that he was because they had been in this relationship, that his heart was hurt. Because It is not the same shit BPF does to everyone. BPF does not bring up people's dead kids and shit like that. That is not the level. BPF, you're insane if you think BPF does that sort of shit. Name one time BPF has done something like that. Name one time. Name one time. Go. She broke it off with him. I get it. I understand. I wasn't even angry with him. Okay, I did neglect the debate. I didn't do the debate because I don't, you know, I don't know what people like this are going to do. I don't know. Next day, I was able to talk with him, and we were able to. Okay, so, see the goat proving that he is about seventy-five IQ right now. It literally is. Bro, he made fun of Hunter after he was in a shooting. No one died, bro, and Hunter was posting publicly about it. Like making videos about it. This is just like, <laughs> oh sorry, the shooter died. Oh sorry, yeah, I'm sure Hunt Hunt was really cut up about Conrad's death. He was, you could tell by those videos. He was sitting there going, "Oh man, I just feel so, I just feel so bad for Hunter. I feel so for Conrad. I just feel so bad for Conrad. Oh, my life will never be the same after Conrad's death. Yeah, this that's the exact same as BPF's fucking kid dying. Sure." At 
Hundred percent. We're being so honest there. So honest, guys. To kind of work through it, and I felt bad for the guy. I understood he was heart sick. You know, some the Wilson girls, the daughters, they're heartbreakers. What can I say? Yeah, Hunter is actually on Twitter right now trying to get people from the company that hired Conrad, uh, sorry, fired Conrad, to debate him. He's like calling out the CFO and shit on Twitter. Come on now. Where is BPF waxing poetic about his fucking dead kid? <laughs> yeah, maybe if BPF was making a center point of his content, I could understand going after him for it. But that is not the case at all. They're, they're looking at like news articles from when it happened of Rachel saying that she wants tougher punishments. <laughs> what can I say? They break hearts. <laughs> But anyway, like all joking aside, <clears throat> he didn't ever call me and say that he had revenge pornography. And I never said he did. Show a single clip of me ever saying that there was revenge porn. Or that he threatened me with revenge porn. I never said anything like that. He never called me with threats of revenge pornography. Ever. They just assumed it blackmailed her and her family with what is implied to be her nudes and sex life. That's ridiculous. But when you are making a narrative up, you definitely need it to sound like it's plausible and good. So what they did was they, when they have gaps in whatever it is, the story they're trying to tell, it doesn't sound nearly as interesting to say that one of my daughters dated a guy that she met on the internet and it didn't work out and they broke up. It's not a very interesting story. This is so messy. I don't even think. Okay, Boots, you're saying that, but what? What is the? Okay, what is the evidence that? I, I've already forgotten this fucking Britney Venti video. I already watched it last night, but it was so fucking boring. What is the evidence that it was revenge porn? Oh, okay. So you're just okay. You're just assuming. Okay. What else could it possibly be? <laughs> Do what else could possibly be? It could be anything. It could be some secret that she was told, that she told him, that could fuck him up. Like, what if BPF cheated on Rachel? And he, and she knew that and had told him. How do we know it? it like, what, what other reason do we have to believe it's revenge porn other than just he was being blackmailed? Yeah, he, I mean, I'm not denying he was being blackmailed. That's definitely how it sounded from the initial clip where he's like, Oh, you know, I, I, w I was going to go to this debate, and then I got a call. It's the same shit BPF does. He makes massive assumptions and goes with it. DGG are detected. DGG are detected. The Lauren Southern fair is not a massive assumption. It's actually very, very well based. Sound the alarm, guys. Uh, do we have siren emotes? Can we do little, little siren emotes? Do we have those? Then, then what are you talking about? Then name a time that BPF has made a massive assumption. Oh, we do have a siren. Let's go. Let's go. When has B What's the massive assumption that BPF has made about someone's personal life in this way? Do you want to point towards, point towards uh, the, the mirror of this? That's a good point. I should be pulling up the, uh, the comments. You're right. See the goat. You're being pressed. You're being pressed. We are requiring an example that is not the Lauren Southern stuff of the comment that you've placed on the screen, or I've placed on the screen, that you've put in the chat. Queen Bee is also being pressed for a mirror example of a thing that Venti is doing, that you were saying BPF also does. What? what when has BPF done it? Give me the example, and let's see if it's actually analogous. I have no BPF Mind Palace, just vibes. That one groiper chick he assumed slept with Destiny for clout. Oh, what, you mean Brittany from Pro Politically Provoked? The one that he knows personally, that he claims to have information behind the scenes on the fact that she slept with Destiny, that that lived close to Destiny in real life. That one. That one. Is that, is that the one you're talking about? 
you know, the one that, where he was the resident debater, like her co-host on the show for like two years. That one. That's not massive assumptions, you downy fuck. <laughs> That's not an assumption. He claims to know. He claims to know. He has been. He claims to have been told. He is friends with her behind the scenes, or was friends with her behind the scenes. He was her co-host for two years. That's not a massive assumption in the way that Brittany Venti is doing it at all. It's not even an assumption. Where's the evidence of it? See, now you're making a different claim. You're saying that he has made a claim without evidence. That he has made a claim without evidence. Now that's your claim. This is about making extrapolations from available information. Brittany Venti is crafting a narrative where she's like, oh, it's revenge porn, it's revenge porn. We don't know that it's revenge porn. She doesn't know that it's revenge porn. But, Brit but BPF does know the truth of whether those two slept together, because he knows them behind the scenes. List people with the highest body so count if he was the lowest body saying it and it wasn't destiny, true, it's because he's lying, Fuentes, not because he's Nico, making an assumption. Jimmy Savile, Gary Glitter, Blackula, and Big Mama Fascist. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the $21. What is that? Lowest body count. Or highest to the lowest. How do you know the truth? You don't. You, do you even understand the words that are being said right now? Because either you've struggled to type, or you've struggled to understand what I'm saying. But e either way, there is something going wrong somewhere, because that doesn't actually respond to what I said. I didn't claim to know the truth. Uh, highest to lowest. Highest body count. <clears throat> Is Blackula. Then Jimmy Savile. Then Gary Glitter. Then Destiny. Then Big Mama Fascist. Then Sneeko. Then Nick Fuentes at the bottom. How do I know that he knows the truth? Uh, because, because he knows them. Because he's probably been told by one of them. And if he hasn't been told by one of them, then he's just making it up. So you can say he doesn't know the truth just because he's been told by one of them, but that would be, you know, about as good as you get can get, right? It's one of them directly telling you. Because you're never going to see people fucking directly. So you'll never know, know the truth, right? You'll never know the information. You will only believe based on a strong possibility. No, that's not an assumption. If someone tells you something, they did something... And you believe that to be true. You believe them when you tell when they tell you that. That is not assuming. It's not assuming. You're being given a piece of evidence. <laughs> you recognise that there is a difference between extrapolating based on available information to craft a narrative and making claims about things you have been told. You have to admit Big Mama's cracking was a bit wank. Listen, I'm all here for Rachel Wilson slander. Thank you for the five pounds, Mouski. Anyway, let's carry on. Maury could follow it. And that's fucking sick to do to uh, a person who didn't do anything to you just because they happen to be related to me. That's it. It's just because my daughter's related to me and whatever it is that I did uh, apparently caused such an affront that they're going to go through and dig up everything about my... Um, family, anything point. they can find to try Griff to hurt begins them again. Uh, in order to hurt me. Which, by the way, I would never do in a million years back the other direction. I've never gone after people's families. And I've never dug into their past to try to figure out who their family members were so that I could harass them or send my community to harass them. That shit's always been off the table. No, I haven't started right for you yet. Well, there's rules, right? Anyway, the last thing I'll say on my daughter... Um, is Brittany Venti showed on her stream a when you're you know when you're 21 <laughs> or sorry when you're uh you know you date a guy from New York and you almost marry him blah 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 um just so that everybody understands the troll fell for the troll <laughs> what a fucking idiot this is from Rachel's daughter's TikTok, and it says, Me, when I remember, I really almost married a 27-year-old man from New York that I only met three times because my parents so wanted me to. 
my daughter has a, a channel on Instagram, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. I have no interest in doing that. But she does mostly satire, okay? And when she saw that this was going on, she put this out, um, I don't know, what, 2023 or something like that, when they were trying to come after me with these things. Is this cope? This feels like cope. This feels like cope. <laughs> oh, man. Things at the first of the year. Uh, or around that time, you know what I mean? Got to be really careful because if you don't, don't nail the time down exactly, fucking people go fucking ape shit, right? But oh, anyway, uh, she put that out to make fun of them. That's it. Yeah. She just put that shit out and she was making fun of them. <laughs> now, the interesting thing here is if that's not true and I'm telling you a story or I'm giving you some kind of aggrandized lie. If, 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 you, if Brittany Banks was right, if... In the world. Show proof that she had a physical relationship of any kind with this gentleman that was in any way sexual at all. Proof she fucked him. Proof she fucked him. Proof she fucked him. Oh, brother. BPF. Don't do this to me. (laughs) Hope it's BPF, so I'll let it slide. That's how I'm feeling right now. Yeah. (laughs) They can't. They made it up. Or the time Show that the there was any sort of revenge no, pornography, head, which is held over her head by anybody. You can't, because you made it the fuck up. They made all of that up. Now, if I'm not telling the truth, my daughter, who does not live with me, lives hundreds of miles away, can just simply make an Instagram saying, "No, no, it's true." Uh, he's an abusive, evil fucking guy, or whatever, right? This is true. Okay, no, fair enough, fair enough. He's got a point here. He is, he's got a point here. And the boyfriend, yeah, the boyfriend could could torpedo it too. No, no, this is this is reasonable. But unfortunately, you know, my daughters kind of adore me. All of them. I know that's hard to believe. Because I'm cuddly like a cactus, but um, (laughs) they fucking adore me. They think I'm great. They've always thought I was great. I can't really blame them, but they do. (laughs) He's so cool. So the thing is, is like, where's my accusers? They say that my daughter was neglected. Venti claims that she was Wait, neglected. you didn't blame the daughter. You retarded Queen Bee. You don't even honestly... I think you've totally lost... What's going on in this video? Because you're seething so fucking hard. The sight of BPF. He didn't blame the daughter. He said, if it is the case that I am abusive and that I forced her to marry this guy, she can easily come out and say that. But I'm telling you, that post was satire. Neglect. Any. Show a police report. If you don't have one, show anything any proof at all other than just your speculative gossip she can't because there isn't any when i went on her daughter's TikTok and i saw that she had posted about having an eating disorder it's sad that she had to go through that in such a hard time in her life and it's a really serious issue because it implies that there's probably something going on in the household. You don't just randomly develop an ED. It's really unfortunate that her daughter is a victim of her mother's own lack of maternal instinct. The reason that she had an eating disorder is because... Going off, yeah, like, come on, going off the daughter's eating disorder too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this, it just seems insane. It just seems insane. It's just a bit fucking much, isn't it? I don't, I haven't seen BPF do this shit either. Because she went for years with an undiagnosed condition called POTS. And if these people had done any of their due diligence, the same thing they accused Rolo Tomasi of not doing, and had gone through her Instagram like they claimed they did, if they weren't just looking for dirt, but they were actually looking at what she had to say with her satirical POTS is videos, a fake woman disease? Is it, you know, it's one of them, is it? makes videos referencing the fact that she had POTS. And then it went undiagnosed for years because every time we would take her to the doctor and it, we went often, I mean, all, all the time to try to get this figured out. Her mom would stay up with her 
I mean, just night after night after night in ER after ER after ER when she'd have these attacks and they couldn't figure it out. They finally figured it out after they got a neurospecialist in after a couple of years. It took years of references to even get this figured out. And anyway, she had POTS. And it was, it was, pretty, it was pretty awful for her. It was pretty awful. But anyway, that was all diagnosed, and luckily she was able to live a normal life after that. Eating disorder gone, all that stuff gone. Eating disorder wasn't because of some kind of mental illness, but because she was suffering from a physical illness. Now, I've never brought any of this up because it's not anybody's business. What would my daughter's uh, medical conditions have to do with anything? They don't have anything to do with anything. They're just brought up as an attack to try to spin this kind of narrative to try to defame her and hurt her in order to hurt me and my wife. That's it. And that's fucking sick. Now, did Venti tell you any of this? No. Well, how would she know? Well, she, she would have to do her due diligence, wouldn't she? She would have had to, oh, I don't know actually watched some of those videos, actually taken a look, but she didn't do any of that. How I even found out this information was because of a Twitter user named Froggy. People DM me, Andrew, look at what she's saying. I'm like, yeah, so what? It's all lies. Who gives a shit? His daughter's not 14. His daughter's uh, like 19 or something, I think, right? Shit. Hmm. That's why I don't care. Never cared. It's all bullshit. If what I'm saying isn't true, daughter can come out and say whatever she wants. She's not under my yoke. She doesn't live here in my house. She's been a self-sufficient adult for a couple of years. Does her own thing. Has nothing, you know what I mean? Talk to her every day because I love her. We have a great relationship. My wife has a great relationship with her. She can say whatever the hell she wanted. The reason she doesn't... As long as none of this gets uh, disproven. As long as none of what BPF is saying gets disproven somehow. Uh, this is probably a pretty good PR response, honestly. I don't know what other video I could have made than this. It's because there's nothing to say. She dated a guy for a little while. It didn't work out. No revenge pornography of any kind. It's made up. I don't even think there was a physical relationship of any kind. But if there was, the burden's on you to show the proof of that, not on me. You show the evidence. You show the proof. I don't have to show shit. I don't have to justify any of this to you fucking people. And the only reason that I'm even making this is because you went after kids. My kids, specifically. So anyway, <clears throat> yeah, show the proof. Show that there's revenge porn. Show it. There isn't any. Show a single shred of evidence there is any. So is, show a single shred of evidence there was even a physical relationship. Show me my, my daughter naked now, Brittany Venti. Show me my naked daughter. Of, now, selling Venti. her virginity on any... It's all bullshit. Send me naked photos of my daughter, Venti. And you people, some of you, not all of you, but, um, well, in fact, almost none of you, <laughs> just the trolls, you think... Standard American father. That, that shit's real because you want to believe it's real. And there's nothing I can do about that. I can't do anything about you wanting to believe it's real. <clears throat> now, moving over to my son, right? This is not the first time that people... I've used the death of my son to go after me with it in order to hurt me, right? Say horrible things, things like this. I have a thick skin. But in this case, Venti brought him up to show that Rachel was somehow negligent. The story gets more interesting when she marries her first husband, baby daddy number two, who she has a child with that ends up passing away in a very tragic accident that in turn makes Sloppy look like an extremely irresponsible parent. Here's what actually happened. Here we go. And because this case was so fully public, you can look into all of these details yourself. What actually happened was as follows. My son went over to a neighbor's house. We lived out in the countryside. He lived down a dirt road. My son went over there to watch a movie. While they were there, one of the boys he was watching the movie with, who was a few years older than him, uh, I think he was 13 or 14 at the time, okay, uh, stole his parents' keys to a Bronco, put my son in the Bronco with him. Okay. Drove down the street, wrapped the Bronco up against a tree, and crushed my son to death. He was 10. 
<coughs> the police showed up that night after we had called them because we could not find him. He did not come home, and nobody at the house knew where he was, where he was at. So we called the police. Yeah, well, Boots, that's such a retarded thing to say. Like, I mean, for the exact reason Stalin just said, like, yeah, she's ascribing responsibility for the death of a kid to Rachel off of, like, nothing. The police had found the wreck, and they came, and they let us know that he had died on the scene. I will never forget, ever, ever, <clears throat> the horrific shriek that my wife let out. I've never heard anything like it before that, and I hope I never hear anything like it again as long as I live. Anyway, from there, what happened was, uh, you know, this kid had a, gone through the windshield and broken his leg, they treated him medically, and then um, they arrested him. It's a fair attack. Let's see. You can see the fucking queer DGG is coming out, can't you? You can see the queer DGG is coming. It's a fair attack. It's fr it makes no sense, dude. The kid was at a, a a friend's house, and the friends stole the car. They had no control over where the keys were. They're not the fucking parents of them. What, you're not meant to let your kid go to play with other kids at the house? Are you retarded? Literally no one thinks that. Yeah, the friend's parents are at fault, if anyone. We're not miffed. We're not miffed. It's just about... We're ascribing... People are saying stuff like, BPF makes the same attacks. It's just not true. It's not true. I don't. I'm not sitting there fucking moralizing. Like, oh, Brittany Venti, you shouldn't. You shouldn't bring up his dead kid. But it's like if they want to. If if the argument is, oh well, you know, Brittany Venti's just doing what Andrew does. It's like, well, no, she's not. She's like going just like absolutely insane. And that she's like straight up, basically lying. That's not one retard, that's at least two retards. I've not heard BPF talk about Destiny's Kid. Destiny's Kid has ADHD, right? BPF could go after that if he wanted to, right? <clears throat> I'm sure he probably thinks, you know, all ADHD and shit like that is caused by bad parenting. I'm sure he could. I'm sure he could go after that. Some of you people need to log the fuck off. What's it? Is this because of Robin McCarthy saying 10-year-olds shouldn't play with a 13-year-old? <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know what that take is that's a strange one new one to me age gap friendship discourse <laughs> oh no okay they arrested him obviously and they were gonna throw the book at him they were gonna throw the book at him And his parents were set up on civil charges. It's family friends. It's, it's not weird. It's just not weird. It's not weird, period. I don't, did you guys not have, like, in any way mixed age friend groups at any point? Did you guys not have, like, siblings who would, like, come hang out when you were, like, young? Did none of your friends have siblings that would come hang out when you were young? Like, are you guys? <laughs> Go on now. Well, the book at them, too. <clears throat> During his sentencing, this other boy's sentencing, we were inside the courtroom, and everybody came up and made statements, including his grandfather, my son's grandfather, and... Um, this my it's not illegal or bad, it's just a bit weird. This Nick, Nick, I don't know, you're just retarded, dude. I'm sorry. I think you may be retarded. Yeah, like, neighbors, like, there's so many <laughs> ways that 10 and 13 year olds would meet and hang out and be in. <laughs> what a fucking retard. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you are actually retarded if you think it is weird for a 10 year old to hang out with a 13 year old. 
You are actually, you are actually retarded. You are genuinely retarded. You need to... Whew. Father and, and grandmother and several other people. No, no, all... there's just, you, I'm not saying, I'm not thinking you're saying it in a sexual way. In any way that you are saying, it's weird for a 10 year old to hang out with a 13 year old. No matter how you mean that, you are retarded. No matter how you mean that, you are a retard. All of them kind of got a piece of this kid. And, and everybody in that room was fucking enraged. Until my wife spoke. You think a 10 and 14 year old are the same level of maturity? No. That doesn't make it weird. It, <laughs> I can't say, I can't say, yeah, you're right. Sorry, Nick, you've got to, you got, you got to take 10 minutes, okay? I can't control myself. It's, it's me, not you. It's me, not you. Well, she went and spoke to the judge and spoke to the prosecutor. There was no jury there. He was guilty, right? And she made a plea for mercy. What she said was, please, don't turn one tragedy into two. Please don't destroy this kid's life as well. He made a horrible mistake, and we can all acknowledge he made a horrible mistake, but please don't destroy his life too. <clears throat> And she went on from there. And that whole room, the whole room was in tears, including the prosecutor and the judge. They were all crying. Because it was just a god-awful situation. And the judge showed him leniency. And the judge said he showed him leniency because of the things my wife had said. When it came time for mercy, what Brittany Venti considers to be the fakest christian on the internet when she had the I mean, power to hold a person's <laughs> life in her hand that had done enough like well, this is just <laughs> i hope people that are shitting on bpf here realize that they are literally just doing it because they have a a personal dislike of him <laughs> because that is a pretty you know that is a pretty good example of you know what uh the, the christian shit is meant to be about i think right is it not is it not am i crazy am i tripping you are just shitting on him because you hate him. You don't know that he's just saying that. You don't know that he's just saying that at all because he's saying this is all public that you can go look this up. So I don't know what, how much of the court documents, how much of the sentencing stuff is actually public. He's claiming you can go look it all up. It just feels like people are literally just going, I hate BPF, BPF loses, and then reasoning it backwards. And then this would have demanded the death penalty. True. Very true. <laughs> See, look at how desperately Queen B tries to rewrite it. BBF's daily life isn't about mercy, let's be honest. Don't you know that he's mean to people in internet debates? There's literally no good reason to hate on this guy. I'm sorry. I've, I've realized it now. All the haters are delusional. BPF is epic. Unimaginable wrong to her. Venti absolutely blown not, out. American History X. She chose mercy. This is exactly in the character that I'm used to from my wife, who I'd love and adore. And I'll never say anything other than that because it's true. I love her and I adore her to, to, to pieces. And I always will. Because that's the way that she is. Her convictions mean something to her. After this happens... Uh, the civil case comes up, and the day of the civil trial, the other family declared bankruptcy so that they didn't have to go to civil court. So we withdrew the civil suit to bring it up again after the bankruptcy was settled. And after the bankruptcy was finally settled, and it was time for me to bring the civil case back, um... I told my lawyer not to. And my wife told my lawyer not to as well. Because <clears throat> what would have been the point? At that point, there was nothing just about the situation. There was no justice in the situation. 
if I had taken everything these people had in restitution, it wouldn't have meant anything. It would have just been petty revenge. And so I didn't do it. Again, <clears throat> when the time comes to show mercy, I showed it. Yeah, honestly, like I think to any <laughs> semi-reasonable person with a a bit of a, you know, who doesn't totally fucking hate BPF and has like a shred of empathy, I think Venti looks pretty bad here by pushing him to like this. I think you guys are just like in some delusional little pocket of DGG retardation. Didn't have to. But I did anyway. And she did anyway. <clears throat> this is all. The entire case. Is public knowledge. It was a very public case because it happened in such a small town. Very public. You can find all the information you want about it, including the court case number, to confirm that everything that I'm saying is true. I don't know how you would do it, but you could talk to the players of the case even now. So the last time this kid ever contacted us with, with, with a letter saying thank you for having mercy when he didn't have to have mercy. That's what he said. Where's my accusers? Nowhere. Just some fucking idiot on the internet who wants to hurt uh, parents through horrific means of attacking their children. Well, what's our response to this like? So sorry to hear about your son. Makes me feel like people are like this in life. I'm sorry, Andrew. You need to file a lawsuit. God bless him. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> like all the responses supporting BPF. Yeah, I mean, sure. They, it sounds like they're totally lying about the marriage timeline. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is that, honestly, the, the marriage timeline stuff and, like, the whole leaving her last husband to marry Rachel or marry BPF or whatever. That stuff was, like, the biggest actual contradiction with their values. I feel like she should have just focused on that. Venti should have just focused on that. But, but instead she brought up all this shit about the allegations of revenge porn against the daughter and the kid dying. And now BPF's just been able to knock some of those claims well. Not really knock the claims down, but say, hey, this isn't supported by evidence. And also, you're a piece of shit. And now everyone's going to support him because it looks like he's completely destroyed it when there's still a bunch of claims he hasn't actually addressed. So, I mean, if you are... If you're, if you're a Venti supporter or a BPF hater, you should kind of... I think this was a bit shit. Right? Or it was a shit choice to include those attacks. Ventaholics coping. Didn't address the Rachel's fat allegation. Curious. Wrench pulling tax not having any ground. Yeah, well, there's no. <clears throat> it doesn't sound like there's any evidence to say that that was actually re that it was revenge porn. And the other stuff about the relationship. Apparently, she was trolling and isn't speaking out against what Andrew's saying. So, what about about the uh, the whole thing of being forced to marry the guy or whatever, being forced to date the guy. I asked everyone, I was like, well, is there any evidence to actually suggest that the thing he was being blackmailed with was revenge porn? And everyone said, what else could it be? But it's like, what else could it be? What else could it possibly be? So it doesn't sound like there's any proof that it actually was revenge porn. <laughs> it sounds like everyone's just kind of saying that. Just kind of guessing. The daughter thing sounded copy, but if he he's saying that she could easily disprove it. And that's true. 